I'm pleased to say that you don't need to worry about the gears when you're slowing down or stopping in a manual car. As long as you get the clutch down by the time the revs drop to below 1000 RPM, the car will stop nicely. When you want to slow down, it's best to come off the gas first and just see how much the car slows down on its own. When you want to slow down some more, add some brake, making sure you press the clutch down by the time the revs drop to 1000 RPM, and then just finish braking and finish stopping with a foot brake. There we go. No gears needed. It's really important to remember that after slowing down, before you get going again, it's important to select the correct gear before you lift the clutch up to move. So if you have slowed down to between 15 and 25 miles an hour, choose gear three. If you have slowed down to between five and 15 miles an hour, choose gear two. And if you have slowed down to below five miles an hour, choose gear one. However, a lot of drivers, myself included, like to change down the gears as we slow down. We do this so that our gear is always ready for when we need to start accelerating again. We also benefit from the slowing down effect that lower gears have on the car. This is called engine braking and can really assist you when driving down steep hills. In my 10 years experience of teaching people to drive, I have definitely learned that it's not a good idea to get my customers to focus on the gears when they're trying to slow down. This only distracts them and takes their attention away from the road to the gears. If I encourage my customers to focus on the road and not worry about the gears when they're slowing down, they become better drivers more quickly. This is what often happens when new drivers try to focus on slowing down at the same time as changing down the gear. They end up stopping at an angle and often way too early. When you feel skilled enough and you've been driving for a while and you're very confident, then it's a good idea to start learning how to change down the gears at the same time as slowing down. Bear in mind, you will have to hold the clutch on the bike point after changing down a gear longer than you hold the clutch on the bike point after going up a gear. It can often take three or four seconds of holding the clutch on the bike point to keep the car smooth after changing down a gear. If you change down the gear at 1,500 RPM instead of at 1,000 RPM, you will get better engine braking. But bear in mind, you will have to hold the clutch longer on the bike point to make sure the car stays smooth. So, although it's good practice to change down the gears at the same time as slowing down, you will rarely find a driving instructor who teaches new drivers to do this because the benefits of the engine braking and being in the gear ready to go don't outweigh the extra difficulty and the extra number of hours it would take someone to learn to drive. That's all for this one. Please subscribe if you want to get my latest videos to help you pass the UK driving test.